January 5th, 2024, Top 1 Demon Avernus has received its first victor, Diamond. This feat is extremely impressive nonetheless, but one thing to note is that Avernus was verified on March 21st, 2023. Since being verified, it has taken over 9 months to receive its first victor. To put it into perspective, it took Bloodbath 7 months to receive a first victor. The community has not seen this big of a gap between verification and first completion in almost 8 years. We're also seeing levels that are projected to place in the top 10 fall short in terms of difficulty. So what's going on here? We are at a turning point in a player skill level, and as more levels are added to the demon list while not receiving any victors for months, the top level playing community will have to adjust to this new surge of difficulty. This is what the demon list looks like today, on January 28th, 2024, with the most recent change in the top 15 being codependence lowered from number 8 to number 11. But what will the list look like in a few years? Several other videos have covered this exact topic, so this is definitely not a new idea, but most of these videos are greatly outdated, and I thought it could be interesting to predict what the list will look like at this new height and difficulty. In this video, I want to see what the demon list could look like in around 4-5 to five years, using all the possible level placements that we know about today. I want to make a note really quick that I made the Sebi Arbitrary list on December 5th, 2023, so there are a few levels that I am not talking about in this video, and I will address them at the end. And to make things easier, we are going to use a blank list since all the levels in this video are immensely harder than what we have today. Now let's begin. To start off this video, the first level we will be talking about is Misanthrope. This level needs no introduction. Misanthrope by Britton K88 and more was made to be the top one of all time. The level was first showcased on Nexus' channel on March 14th, 2020, sitting at 1.2 million views today. The hardest level at the time was Tartarus, so Misanthrope was undoubtedly impossible with the skill set of players at the time. This level is a beast, clocking it at almost 6 minutes long with top one gameplay. There is currently no set verifier at this moment as the level is still being decorated. The most notable progressions made were by Big Mac GD and Trick. Big Mac has a staggering 44 to 95 percent run. Well, Trick has 33 percent from zero. Oh my God, bro! No. <sighs> the level went through some controversy a while back as the host decided to split the level into three parts. We can immediately see the problem here as the most obvious implication with splitting the level is that the difficulty drops tremendously, but the creator said they will be uploading a full unsplit version of the level on the servers when the project is finished. Honestly, I think Misanthrope is the most well-known top one we've ever seen, hate me if you will. There's something so charming about the layout of this level and it is definitely the best top one song we've got. Since Misanthrope is the first level we'll be placing, it's going right to the top with no surprise, and I'll be taking a page out of Blue's book in his demon list video and place Misanthrope as a whole on the list to make things less confusing. The next level is also one of the most iconic upcoming top ones of all time, Ascension to Heaven. This level is stunning. There is almost nothing to nitpick about this, and it will undoubtedly be one of the best top ones of all time. Ascension to Heaven by Blue Sky and More is a heaven-themed extreme demon aiming to place right at the top of the list. Previewed on FNM of Force channel on November 22nd, 2021, it instantly stood out. Despite being a layout, it became an instant favorite among the community. As of day, Denny is said to be the verifier of Ascension to Heaven once the level is completed, which I think will be very exciting to see. He currently is verifying another top 1 project, Ouroboros, and has 20% from zero, so hopefully he will finish that before Ascension to Heaven is completed. Similar to Misanthrope, Ascension to Heaven has a public layout uploaded, but seems to have no progress by anyone, which is sort of odd. Usually top 1s like this have a lot of players wanting to try the level themselves, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. The level is still being decorated, but from what we have seen, I think perfection is an understatement. The host and creators are doing an amazing job, and I cannot wait to see the finished product. On the matter of where it will be placed on the list, I think it will be comfortable right under Misanthrope. Oh. 
The Apocalyptic Trilogy undoubtedly has the most history behind it, and rightfully so. The concept began with After Catabad by Zim Knight, a 5 minute level made 8 years ago. It was a merging of Cataclysm, Bloodbath, and Aftermath all back to back to back. The level wouldn't be beaten for another 4 years and was verified by Sunix on August 30th, 2019. Obviously, this lazily combined level couldn't get rated, since it was a blatant copy of two of the most iconic extreme demons to ever touch the game. So Zim Knight wanted to get after Catabath super buffed and decorated, so it could be the hardest level ever. The level went through countless changes, and looks almost unrecognizable to what we have today during the earlier stages of decoration. After 8 years of hosting, Zim Knight premiered the showcase for the Apocalyptic Trilogy on August 26, 2023, and it was stunning. The level is currently being verified by Trick and has progress of 30% from 0 and 68 to 100. Boom! Trick seems to be playing the level on and off, and they got notable progress on Tidal Wave after completing the Aftermath section of the level, which was 68 to 100. Trick also completed VSC and Avernus, the top 1 challenge in the top 1 level after getting 30%. Trick stated that they were playing Tidal Wave to make sure the Apocalypse Trilogy would be much harder, which it was. To be honest, when the level was first showcased, I felt nothing. It seemed like any other generic hell level, and I was not satisfied nor disappointed after watching the showcase. But somewhere along the line, the level grew on me, and I think it was really well done and executed. My guess is that Trick will probably verify the Apocalyptic Trilogy in late 2024 and maybe early 2025. And to place it on our list, I think it'll land right under Ascension to Heaven. Moving on. This next level has had some slight controversial discussions, but I still believe we should talk about it. Behemoths by TBT is titled to be the best top one ever, and this level does not joke around. Behemoths was inspired by a Terraria Calamity mod, which includes a boss fight in the level that is said to be randomized, which I think is a really interesting concept. The level was originally being verified by Radium, and got some decent progress on it. Yes! They ended up dropping the level due to hand pains, and was picked up by Poltergast, verifier of Edge of Destiny. Yes! They only managed to get a best run of 23 to 55 before dropping it as well, and taking a step back from top level play entirely. Oh! Oh my god! Shortly after, Yuko announced that Behemoths would be set as an open verification, and has not seen any progress updates since. The level received a small amount of negative feedback, saying how unoriginal it was, and how much ship gameplay there was, and that the boss fight wasn't good in general. Despite this, I think the level is alright, and it will be interesting to see it verified in the future. I do sort of agree that there is quite a bit of repetition in the ship gameplay, but other than that, I think it's a pretty decent level. Placement wise, I don't think it's harder than Ascension to Heaven, but I do believe it's harder than the Apocalypse Trilogy. So that's where we're adding it. Amethyst is definitely one of my favorite levels that I'll be talking about in this video. There are almost no flaws, and it executes the style of the Golden so much better than Avernus did. Amethyst matches the Golden in song intensity, and surpasses the Golden by miles in decoration quality and difficulty. First previewed on June 26, 2021, the community was already excited to see the end result. The level is finally finished and previewed on October 15, 2023, and is set to be verified by Beastular. Currently, there seems to be no progress on Amethyst, so hopefully Beastular picks up the level soon, because it would be awesome to see this level on the list. I believe it was said that the level is incredibly hard for today's standards, so I think it would place on the lower end of our arbitrary list. So I'm going to add it below the Apocalypse Trilogy. I really wish I could talk about this level more, but I've said all I need to say. It's the perfect level. So, keeping it short and sweet, this is where Amethyst will place. We talked about Misanthrope a bit earlier, but the level host BritainK88 seems to have a thing with making top ones. <laughs> Scattered Faith was first previewed on September 5th, 2021, also on FNM of Force Channel, under the title of Galaxy Collapse Sequel. The reception on the level was not too positive off the bat, and it was suffering the same fate as Waterfall by Cherry Team was, being first announced as a sequel to Firework. Scattered Faith was then previewed again on May 28th, 2023, with some gameplay changes, but overall very similar as its first preview. 
but this time it was not labeled as a sequel to Galaxy Collapse. And six months later, we got our first preview of the decoration, and I think it looks really neat. The level now appears to be under a new host, Fly. Scattered Faith is being named as the hardest top one in history, so I don't think we'll see any verification progress on it for a long time. I think the team utilized the song really well, and from what we've seen in the previews, I think the decorators are doing a really good job with the level and theming. And with the goal of being the hardest top one ever, I think it's safe to say on our list right now, it's going right to the top, above Misanthrope. Ice Cave, the creator of Slaughterhouse, Fever Dream, Super Hate Me World, and more, wanted to create a top one based on the original Slaughterhouse from 2015. Grief was first previewed on April 15th, 2022, and is aiming to be the sequel slash prequel to the new Slaughterhouse. This level was almost entirely cancelled by Ice Cave, but was motivated by their friends to finish the project. Ice Cave said the level would be finished in early 2024, but to mine and everyone's surprise, it was finished and showcased 5 months early on August 11th, 2023, sitting at 1 million views today. There was some small drama surrounding a section of the level though, as there was a part in the video that was not meant to be in the final showcase, and a much more pleasing decoration of that part was removed from the collab, since the original decorator had a role in leaking the layout for one of the levels coming up in this video. Putting this aside, this level is awesome. Grief perfectly captures the intensity of Stalemate, the song used in the original Slaughterhouse. This level is set to be verified by Doggy, but only seems to have one progress clip performing the second drop wave posted on their Twitter. The creators have said this level is probably not going to be top one, but if it was verified today, it definitely would place at the very top. But looking at our list in this video, I think it will place right under Amethyst. Moving on. Sweeping Demon 2 is sort of an interesting one. The level was created by Temp, originally branded as Wandering Demon, and is set to be verified by top 3 demonless player Thunder. Some of their progress includes 71 to 100 and 59 to 92. Thunder's last progress video was uploaded 7 months ago today and seems to have been set off to the side for them. Though other players have been regressing on this level too, with records such as 59 to 100 by Helix. and 32% from zero by Speedy Muffin. Holy f there does not seem to be much more progress on the level after these runs, but this level is still really hard nevertheless. I find Sweeping Demon 2 interesting, as the level was originally deemed impossible by Temp, but Thunder wanted to verify it regardless, and buffed it to be as hard as they possibly could. I think the level is pretty cool, and it's definitely one of the levels I want to see verified someday. As for placing it, I do not think it is harder than Ascension of Heaven, but it is probably harder than Behemoth, so that's where we're adding it. The next two levels I want to talk about are from popular creator Griefer. They have made some of the best healthy levels we've seen, and we know little about their presence. They don't seem to have any active socials, and the only thing I can find was a Griefer archive YouTube channel that's being run by one of their fans. Some of their most popular levels include Rare and Surface. These two levels are masterpieces. The first level I want to talk about is also one of their most popular creations, Vivisect. <laughs> Vivisect was originally a dual collab between Griefer and Burgadaz, but one of the newer previews posted by Burgadaz is titled Max FS's Part, leading me to believe it is no longer only a dual collab, but I could be wrong. The atmosphere this level brings is unlike any other. I mean, just look at this part. Vivisect was first previewed on October 3rd, 2022 and he seems to be on the back burner for the duo. They are not actively posting decoration updates for the level, and Burgadas continues to stream and play Flight Simulator instead of decorating. Solo bromeaba, hermano, no te odio. Fun fact is that Vivisect was at first going to be verified by Space UK, top one player on Pointer Crate, and second to complete the top 75. But sadly, Space peacefully and respectfully stepped away from the Geometry Dash community to pursue their passion in playing the piano. But in my opinion, this level is still amazing. I can't wait to see this finish being decorated and verified. And for placement, I highly doubt it's harder than Misanthrope, but it is most certainly harder than Ascension Heaven. The 
next level from Griefer I want to talk about is Injury. Now this level is actually impossible. There's parts in this duel that reach up to 12 CPS. This level is a beast, so obviously we can't expect someone to verify it, right? Actually, well-established player Kawai, original verifier for Unknown, got a whopping 85%. Oh my f***ing god! This is obviously on a slightly nerfed version, but this run is unbelievable. They would end up not posting any more progress on their version, but on August 28th, 2023, a newly decorated version of Inji would be uploaded on a few channels. This version is the one for the list. The decoration on here is substantially better than the original Injury, and Kaiwei would post a filler progress video of 32% on the level from zero. Decorated by 9 Dice and Rare, I think they did an outstanding job. Adding black and white color flashes rather than keeping with a solid blue adds more liveliness to the level, and I'm a big fan of it. Injury is definitely harder than Grief, but I do think it's slightly easier than the Apocalyptic Trilogy, so that's where we're gonna add it. Real quick before moving on, I'd like to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is obviously much different compared to what I've uploaded in the past, but I really wanted to make this after the idea came into my head. If you happen to enjoy it, please let me know so I can look into making more of this in the future. Now let's talk about the last two levels. Silent Acropolis is a top 1 redecorated version of the original level made by Danmaster007 8 years ago. This level is hard. Like, really hard. There are zero nerfs on the redecorated version, and Verifier Ravis has incredibly impressive progress on this behemoth of a project, and has a level in four runs. <laughs> Ravis is top 60 in pointer crate stats, and a victor of Slaughterhouse and Acheron, some of the hardest levels that Emulus has to offer today. Their incredible dedication shows they are more than capable of verifying unnerved Silent Acropolis. But just as things were looking hopeful, Ravis would upload a video titled Felicidad, accompanied with a newsletter about their channel. Ravis talks about how they no longer find enjoyment in streaming, and that they are still very humbled to have the opportunities that they've had. Ravis stated that they will still be playing Silent Acropolis, but Geometry Dash as a whole is no longer as high of a priority anymore. I respect their decision, as we have seen amazing things from them, and they definitely deserve a break. Moving back on topic, Silent Acropolis was redecorated by The Purgatory and showcased on September 16th, 2023, and I think the team did an outstanding job. The atmosphere this level presents is so fitting, and the gameplay makes the level more intimidating than ever. Some of Ravis' records would include 21% from 0, 20% to 37%, which is the hardest part of the level, 28 to 55%, and 50 to 100. With progressions like these, I have a strong feeling it will be verified before the end of 2024 or early 2025. I feel like people underestimate the difficulty of this level and they don't understand how truly hard this level is. Using the impossible levels list, Silent Acropolis places above Sweeping Demon 2, Emerald, an Aquamarine style level, Unnerfed Woodkid, and even Old Orochi. Where would I place the level? Silent Acropolis is clearly harder than Vivisect, but this could be a shot in the dark, but I'll say it's not harder than Misanthrope. Now, last but certainly not least, the level I'm guessing a lot of you were expecting. None other than Aeternus. Now this level is actually ridiculous. The idea first created by Riot and originally branded as Eternal, this level follows the trilogy of Tartarus and Acheron aiming to be the Eternal Top 1. Remember how I said earlier that Ice Caves were moved apart from Grief because the decorator leaked an upcoming project? Well, the decorator, Virgadez, had a part in leaking a showcase of the layout for Eternus. People have said the leak significantly moved interest away from the level as the layout made the level look too bare and too similar as its previous renditions from Riot. The final showcase was posted on October 16th, 2020. 23, and I think the level looks awesome. The song is personally a hit or miss for me, but I think the creators did a very good job capturing the intensity of the level, and the addition of the blue and purple to the color scheme makes the level so much better. Now, before I talk a bit more about Eternus, I should say I wanted to play a lot of these levels myself just to see how hard they were, and have a better understanding of the difficulty of these levels. But as you can see, I am no top player myself, but I think playing these levels on this list gave me a much better understanding of their difficulties instead of going in blind. Quick note, I practiced all these levels before the update, so there are no 2.2 difficulty opinions on here. When I was playing the leaked layout of Eternus in practice mode, at 11%, there is a 390 FPS frame perfect. 
In that statement alone, you can see how outrageously hard this level is. There is currently no set verifier for Eternus, and I believe it is being set as open verification just as Tartarus and Acheron were. As of today, Diamond, the first victor of Avernus, has a whopping 6% world record. Oh my god. <laughs> the fact that the world record for this level is only 6% is beyond me. In my opinion, I really hope we get to see a new player verify this, as Tartarus helped Dolphy rise to fame, and now Acheron helped Zoink rise to fame. To be honest, I don't see Zoink verifying this level in the future, as he seems to be playing somewhat less, and playing lower levels on the list, with his recent completions being Crackhead Circles and Jigsaw. No hate to Zoink, but I would 100% want to see a new player's claim to fame being the verification of Aeternus. And to zero surprise, I'm placing Eternus right at number 1. Despite Scattered Faith being labeled as the hardest top 1 in history, there is no way that it is beating the 390 FPS frame perfect. Projects you may have noticed I did not talk about were Cherry Team's Ouroboros, Duke's Kingdom of Miracles remake, Novel Boy's Orochi, and the Top Zero Andromalek. I did not talk about Ouroboros because I made this list before it was showcased, and I did not talk about Kingdom of Miracles because I was not aware the project was still alive, and we got a preview of the level just two weeks ago as of writing the script. But the reason I did not talk about Orochi is that I highly doubt this level will be finished anytime soon. There was a four year gap in between previews 2 and 3, and even though Novel Boy said the project was coming along faster than ever, it has been 8 months since an update video. I obviously didn't talk about Andromalek -like because look at this thing, it's literally definition of top zero. A few other levels I didn't talk about were Kugelblitz's Death Corridor, Aiden's the Zoo Flare, The Human Limit, Ashley Wave Trials, Aquamarine, Ton618, and several more. All these levels were not talked about because they were either take an incomprehensible amount of time to be verified, or we have zero updates on decoration or verification progress. Thank you so much for watching. This is obviously very different than my old channel uploads, but I am pivoting my channel to Geometry Dash from now on, and let me know if you would be interested in a list even further into the future with a lot of these levels I did not talk about. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.